What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some crawfish. I got this bag of crawfish from Winn-Dixie for um, $9.99. It's pretty big so it's pretty good for the price. What you're going to need is an onion, lemons, corn, and the spices you're going to need, some garlic powder, some pepper, paprika, complete seasoning, all-purpose salt, and this one I'm just adding in because this is so good. Lemon pepper. This seasoning is super good. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is put some water in a, big, uh, in a big pot to start boiling. Then we're going to head over to the ingredients. You're going to want to get your onion, peel it, and cut it in half. Okay, now you're going to get your lemons and cut them in half. Okay, now that you have your cut ingredients, you're going to want to throw them into the boiling water. You're going to want to squeeze those lemons. Get all that lemon juice in there. Now we're going to go to the spices. Okay, so get your garlic. Put garlic in there. Get your pepper. Your all-purpose salt. You don't want to put too much salt. Your complete seasonings. Paprika, but not that much. And my favorite, lemon pepper. So now you're going to want to stir that up and let it sit for like 10 minutes. Just let it boil for like 10 minutes or 15. Okay, so while that sits for like 10 minutes, you're going to want to get your crawfish and open them up. You're going to want to pour them into this little drainer. And what you're going to want to do is rinse them out a little bit wash them a little bit you know make sure they're clean some nice crawfish right there wanna make sure they're all nice and clean Okay, so that's been boiling for about 15 minutes now. It's nice and hot. We're going to throw in the crawfish now. Now we're going to let these guys boil for about another 15 minutes and we'll check on them afterwards okay they've been boiling for a good 15 minutes so now what you want to do is turn off the heat and stir it up a bit And just like that with the heat off, now you're going to want to throw in your corn. And just like that, you're going to let it sit for another five minutes so that the corn could get cooked. 
Okay, so now that it's been sitting for another five minutes, you're going to want to get it and throw it into your little draining basket. You're going to want to drain all that water out. Be careful, it is really hot at this point. And there you've got your delicious cooked crawfish, ready to eat. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to eat it. Okay guys, so what you're going to want to do is get your crawfish. And you're going to want to, here on the base of the tail right here, you're going to hold the tail, hold the head, and just kind of screw it off like that. Now some people like to suck on the head because it has like... Um, juices and stuff inside but I'm not one of those people so now what you're gonna wanna do is take the shell off peel the shell off of the meat and it's kinda hard because the shell is uh, really hard like if you've peeled uh, shrimp before the shell is, very, is nothing compared to the shrimp one I mean it's really it's harder than the shrimp one so you're just going to want to do that. It's going to take a while, but you're going to get your meat. And there you have your crawfish meat. It's really good. It tastes really good. It tastes kind of similar to lobster, but really good so that's kind of it guys hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped you uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this later thanks for watching guys like subscribe comment until next time take care guys